Good morning, good evening, good afternoon, good night, wherever, whenever, however you shall be watching this video. If you should so choose to watch this video, and if you choose to do so, I appreciate it. Thank you for watching. Your time is valuable and you chose to spend it with me uh, for a brief period of time. There's one thing in life that um, is probably a lot more valuable than money or anything materialistic is your time, is time. As we are here for a finite amount of it. And really, it, there's really no other currency that's more precious for a life form such as yourself and others. Uh, it is a little past 10 o'clock, just uh, came back from doing a couple of different things. I set up an appointment to have uh, an ultrasound done in my liver. We'll have that until next Friday. Just did a drug test for a new job, a new job. Hopefully it doesn't, hopefully I don't get disqualified because I do have a bit of, a, I may have some traces of the Mary Jane in me, only because uh, I had recently, you know, obviously I tell you I couldn't sleep, so it's just really the one time I smoked it to help me sleep, well, hopefully that doesn't disqualify me, um, other than that, it should be squeaky clean out of there after, uh, I also uh, will have an appointment for later today for a virtual meeting, Still debating on whether I should attend it because of a uh, dependent upon circumstances. Because uh, I don't know if, again, I don't know if I'm gonna get disqualified for uh, for um, for that particular reason. I would like to have other options on the table. In the meantime, um, uh, nothing else going on. Probably might go to the gym later today, maybe. Definitely play the guitar again. After a little bit. Maybe a little longer than I normally do, because it's a day off for me. But, um... I don't know. I pretty much take it a little, little by little, moment by moment. Um... But, yeah, I mean, I kind of... Woke up feeling a little bit tired. But I did get some sleep without and without the use of uh, the prescribed medication that they gave me. I mean, it's the antihistamine. Um, I did take a sleep aid, but it's more of a natural melatonin than L-theanine, just to help a little bit. Um, other than that, I had a decent night's sleep. Uh, so that's a little bit for me today. If uh, if you're watching this and you should and you should so choose to comment how you are doing how your day is going feel free to leave a comment and I will read it uh, and you can reply whether or not you want me to reply or not or respond whether or if you want me to reply or not um, but yeah I mean this video is gonna be relatively quick um, just want to get something out I guess uh, today's subject will be, uh, I don't know, without getting political, I guess just uh, certain laws, or at least specifically given the fact that I did bring up marijuana, uh, I guess there are employers who still disqualify dependent upon if you have, let's say, traces of marijuana that are detected in your bloodstream and they uphold the federal law versus local state law. Now here in Connecticut it's legal for medicinal and recreational so therefore obviously if you're residents of this state and you're not traveling out of state or abroad you shouldn't at least in my opinion you should not get disqualified if you're going for a job and they do a drug test on you and you live and you're going to be working exclusively in the same state in which that law is that law is uh, applied to where it's legal at the state level. Now, I mean, obviously, if there's certain companies for liability reasons, they may make it, they may just strictly adhere to the federal law, and um, which sucks because I think there are a lot of people 
a lot of individuals at least who maybe who may not um, have medicinal use or are allowed to medicinally speaking uh, sp smoking marijuana um, in which I'm sure they went for jobs in which they were disqualified uh, because of it uh, because of the federal law now the way our government works at least our federal government they can be extremely slow I mean I think it applies to really any government I think even at the local level uh, they tend to operate extremely slow because there's a lot of a lot of hoopla they go through and a lot of paperwork a lot of uh, legalese and whatever and what have you in which a simple thing may take a year or longer to, to push through to pass and, there, and that should change for certain things uh, depending on the urgency uh, and, it, and that urgency should not be uh, dictated by feeling meaning if there is a mass consensus based on feeling to push through a law suddenly when feelings are fleeing there's a problem there it should be based on logic and, and, um, and just sheer statistical data that points to, to whether it's something is truthful or not meaning how accurate it is versus um, ramming something through last minute based on a feeling or based on a an event that uh, causes mass outrage. Um, without getting too into it, I'm not going to really mention anything. I mean, I think we all know what what those events are. But um, yeah, I think the federal government, especially, moves extremely slow, and especially with uh, <clears throat> the federal government looking to hire thousands of new IRS agents to enforce, you know, taxes, well, to enforce uh, tax law, basically. Uh, I just think that's going to target a lot more poor people, or poor people, you know, in the, in the lower class, not in the middle class. Uh, that's just uh, not fair to them. Let's say if I were president, I would go, I would uh, immediately reverse that. I would stop that. I wouldn't, I wouldn't allow that. I think the should, IRS should be rehauled. Probably gonna get audited because I said that. But um, eh, I'm gonna end that political nonsense there and there. But again, I appreciate you watching this video. Um, you matter. You mean everything to everybody, and you mean the most to yourself, especially. Be cognizant of what you think about. Be cognizant of the thoughts you have about yourself, and be cognizant of the thoughts you have about others. Try to just avoid overthinking and just kind of learn to just be in the moment, be in the present, and just uh, just try to learn to not allow yourself to think so much. Meaning, if you can find a way to silence your mind for a longer period of time, you're only you're doing yourself a real good benefit a real good justice um, if you can learn little by little over time to silence your mind even if it's for five ten minutes it's a start keep practicing that consistency is the key here pretty much goes with goes for anything five ten minutes may lead to half an hour an hour lead to half an hour lead to an hour hour to two hours next thing you know you'll find a level of calmness and peaceness in you peacefulness peaceness it's a new word um, where you're actually able to focus and concentrate more during that and that is can help you reprioritize can help you handle certain things better or handle the stuff that you're going through or that you're, that you're dealing with uh, whether that be from a relationship standpoint finances job whatever what have you um, 
that calmness can be extremely beneficial for you in handling that. Um, because when you have an overactive mind with your thoughts racing and you can't focus and concentrate on anything, that's when you tend to forget, become more forgetful, you start to feel more stressful, you know, start and your body starts to respond in kind to that rip, to that additional stress. Next thing you know, you're finding it hard to concentrate, finding it hard to go through with tasks or uh, just even holding a conversation without being distracted by your own thoughts and worries. And it also helps to maybe uh, I lost my train of thought for there. So, but it would help to see if you can practice being a bit more extroverted and helping others. And that's gonna be harder when you're stuck in that mindset where you can't really help somebody. Oh, you help can't really help having a can't really help others because your mind is so active with your own problems and your own worries. So. I think when you find yourself start to slowly relax your mind um, where excessive thoughts and worry where you start to get a beat on that after however the method hopefully in a positive manner meaning without the use of any kind of uh, drug or whatever but if something through talk therapy or just meditation when you find those moments of calmness I think in those moments of peace and quiet in your, of your mind, you can uh, therefore have an easier job or even easier time being more extroverted or helping others, in which it kind of reconfigures your brain a little bit, uh, rewires it, and the more you do it, again, consistency, the more you find yourself hopefully getting out of the slump that you are in and uh, out of the, the problems you're dealing with because you're slowly becoming able to effectively handle the problems one, little by little, one by one. Um, but again, you mean the most to people. You matter. You matter most to yourself. Uh, respect yourself. Respect others. I know it's easier said than done, especially if you've gotten so used to certain thoughts and certain uh, habits. Um, but again, I appreciate you spending your time watching this and take care. Bye-bye.